real quick, um, Tamika Scott, she went over to um, Fox Soul and she talked about a few things. And I really, I, I did, a, I took a snippet, okay? I have some audio. I snipped out some of the parts of what Tamika discussed. And I'm going to put that up on the screen so that um, we all can listen to what it is Tamika had to say, just the snippets, okay? I'm not going to play the video, but I'll play the audio for you guys. So here you go. Well, I mean, currently we're still not speaking. Um, yeah. Oh, no. But I want to thank you for when we spoke, you being that person to say, you know, I want y'all to get back together. Like, you probably the first positive person I've talked to. Everybody else be coming in and, oh, you need to do this. You should do that. But you came to me and said, I know where you are. And I felt your heart. And I really appreciate that from you. I want to say that I love my sister. Yes. Good. That's good to know. And I support her wholeheartedly. And I ask everyone to support her. And I ask everyone. It's Sweet. okay, babe. It's okay. Prayers. That's love. That's love. That's why I said, take the time. And it's okay, baby. Take the time for that when you're ready. That then you can say you are. It's okay. Mika, this is a positive, like, safe place for you. Yes, if just if know that. If if your sister's watching, is there anything you'd want her to know? Yeah. Or say to her? Like that, like maybe that could be the catalyst to start this. And uh, is there anything you want to say to her if she's watching? I just, I want the best for her. Mm -hmm. And I want her to love herself. Mm -hmm. And don't let nobody stop you from being who you are. Yes. Because you were who you are before you met him. Oh. You're going to always be that star with or without him. Mm. I want you to love yourself. It's not about me. It's not about the group. It's about you. And it's about your love for yourself. Because you deserve the best. The show itself, mm -hmm. if I had a chance to do it over, I wouldn't. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. I wouldn't because... It's just a lot that happened. And sometimes when you do, when you do business with friends, sometimes mm -hmm. some people don't know how to take the business and they like to say, oh, you've been disrespectful, but it's not being disrespectful is we're having a business conversation. And, and it's been a big misconception about, oh, escape was very disrespectful, but we weren't, you know, you had candy saying, you know, about the top billing and, you know, we had a conversation and one thing that shouldn't have happened, it shouldn't have happened on TV. It should have been the managers talking it out. Right. Right. But it didn't happen that way. And a lot of things were said that shouldn't have been. But one thing I can truly say is that we never disrespected SWB. We never said we wanted to fight. We never talked about their bodies. We never talked about everything that were said were facts and it was business. So do you think I, there's going to be a season two? No, <laughs> yeah, I won't be in it. <laughs> no, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because, you know, looking at it, you see these two Powerful. Great groups, powerful groups that still thriving. 30 years, 30, 30 years for us, 31 years for mm -hmm. SWV. It could have been a better situation, but right. it wasn't. And unfortunately, it's not a tour. But you know, I I got love for them. They're so talented. They got hits. They're still, I still love them, you know, but just the business, just we couldn't get the business together. Mm. So that was just the sad part about that. Tamika, do you think Word. that reality television perpetuates Black women going against each other? Do you think this was an opportunity to, to really, you know what I'm saying, um, exploit you guys instead of build you up another opportunity? Do you think this, this happened on purpose? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It was just a lot of different elements that were happening. Um, I feel like if we would have stayed coarse, on what the show should have been about. And if everybody would have had the same mind from the producers to the directors, then it could have been a better show. It could have been. All right. So y'all just heard what Miss Ma'am said. Okay. Miss Tamika. Now, girl, I be it just be real interesting when she talks about her sister in this relationship she has with Rocky when Rocky has been around for 20 some years. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. 
why we ain't never hear no outcry before? Because I feel like if he's problematic now, he's been problematic from the fucking beginning to for real, for real. You know, and your sister has forever been changing. You said on your um, on one of the shows that, you know, she's changed so much since she's met him. And I'm like, well, bitch, she's gone at this point <laughs> for real, for real, because she's been with his ass for I don't know how many, what, two decades and then some change. So, I mean, I don't know. What more do you want from her, girl? This is probably just who she is. She has already inhabited the ways of Rocky, okay? And some of that probably was her, okay? That probably just who she is because that's just how she is, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, it didn't seem like she was saying she would not do the show anymore because of, I guess, the dynamic with her sister. So, it don't sound like she's really regretting anything that she's said or done as far as the, the situation with her sister. She loves her sister. But at the end of the day, you forced my hand, and I had to speak my truth, and that's what that was, right? But it seems like she's not interested in doing another season based on how their group was looked at in comparison to SWV, SWV and coming off as though they were disrespectful. At least that's what I digested from listening to this um and she was pretty much thanking lisa ray for being supportive because she said lisa ray was one of the first people um or only person to come to her on some positive type stuff and i'm just like i refuse to believe that i refuse to believe now now girl you sending this lady face giving her too much credit but um i guess um i ain't gonna lie i was listening to a like tamika uh, not tamika but lisa girl why are you spending the first three minutes talking about yourself and your own dynamic and what's going on with you and your sister? It didn't necessarily relate back to her, you know, back to Tamika's situation. But I guess that was your way of saying, you know, how it could be when you have a sister and you're going through some stuff or whatever, girl. But, I mean, the interview was for her. Okay. But, anywho, girl, that's what was going on with the ladies over there and with Miss Tamika Scott. She and her sister have still yet to have a conversation. And they probably not going to have a conversation till about Thanksgiving, for real, for real. That's when everybody want to come around and be fake when it's time to get something to eat at um, their mama house or something. You feel what I'm saying? So she might be over there for Thanksgiving or Black Friday or something like that. One of them days. Um, she also said about her sis album, listen, that is very interesting that you would say that. Because I heard the album did not do that great, but I wasn't sure because I didn't know if the people's was being a bit shady. OK, so this is what I saw over on the social media. All right. Um, somebody says Latasha. Hold on. Let me remove that. Uh Oh, my bad. y'all. They said Latasha Scott's highly anticipated debut solo gospel album, The Invitation, A Conversation with God, sold 678 units in pure sales. The album from the Escape member has failed to chart on the Billboard 200 albums chart. Congratulations, Latasha. Now, girl, that was shady. And it's giving shady music facts. So I wasn't sure whether it was accurate or whether it was not accurate. But that's what the people saying. It sold less than a thousand copies. Um, for Tasha, she might be okay with that. She might be a little happy with that, you know, even though she got a deal and stuff. And I don't know, girl. I don't, I don't think the label would be happy with that. She probably glad she sold something during this time of stress and struggle, honey. But uh, I don't know, girl. Either way, good luck. Okay, good luck to you, ma'am.